Hello everyone, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Um, let me know if you can hear me or see me. Um, somebody write clear, please. Mic check, how you doing? God bless you. God bless you. I'm not seeing anything, but um, just let me know if you can hear me. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is a good God all the time. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I need you to say mic check if you hear me, please, if you don't mind. Hallelujah. God bless you tonight. Wherever you are, praise God, praise God, hallelujah. I need somebody just to say mic check so I can go on, please, so I can make sure you're hearing me. Well, hello there, fear God, Turk the key, praise God, praise God. All right, so someone say a little too low, so I'm going to kind of like, you know, talk, you know, I got a loud mouth anyway, praise God. <laughs> so anyway, I didn't even get a chance to name this one, but what God was talking to me about today is that he said, Dan, he said, a lot of my people, the reason why they're not standing strong in me is because they really don't have a relationship with me. Now, hold on. L let me clarify what I'm saying. You can actually be working for God. You can actually be living for God, but still don't know God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what I'm saying to you is that do not despise the process. So many people want to run fast, but hold on. When you run fast, you don't last because everything is a process, right? So you got to understand God breaks down everything. You ever notice that when God blesses you, he takes his time. You ever notice whatever God do, he takes his time. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm trying, I'm trying to establish something here. So if God takes his time, why is it that we're in a rush? Because when you're in a rush, I promise you, you won't be standing strong. And that's what's happening. And not only that, a lot of you don't know protocol because you don't want to sit under somebody long enough to learn protocol. You get a little, you get a little teaching. And you think you're all that and a bag of chips. I'm telling you, I'm starting to see more and more people fall because of the fact that you're not doing it the way God asked you to do it. You're doing it the way you perceive to do it. And so you have to understand what God is saying. God said, wait a minute, hold on, hold your horses. I know you want to teach. I know you want to preach. I know you want to minister, but let me show you. The Holy Spirit will show you. Come on, somebody. And truth be told, God will always send somebody to teach you. Not, uh, that's just the way it is. That's protocol. Protocol in and out. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And so what am I saying? This generation likes to flow in the flesh. Ha hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. It's just true. You like to flow in the flesh. And I'm going to tell you right now, the flesh is a mess. The flesh will mess you up every time. Because let me tell you what people are looking for. It is some serious things happening out here. People are getting abducted. Childs are getting abducted. I mean, people are falling left and right, even in death. Do you really think somebody wants you to play with them in this hour? No, don't give me your flesh. I need some spirit because I'm in some stuff. And I need somebody that know God, that's see God, that walk with God, that talk with God, that move in God. I need God. Hallelujah. And that's what it is. They need God. They don't need us. You don't need Apostle Deanna Dixon because I can't help you. But the God in me, oh, come on, somebody. The God in me can show you to him. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And a lot of things are happening and y'all don't understand because y'all not processing, God says. That's why people are falling. You're not getting that residue out of you. You're not getting those spirits out of you. What am I saying? What am I saying in a nutshell? You're not healed and delivered. Because when you're healed and delivered, you operate differently. And I'm just being honest. And a lot of you are operating ungodly. And that's not of God. And you don't want nobody to tell you nothing. And then you get offended when somebody do tell you something. I'm telling you, you better stop and slow your roll because you, you are up against a devil that's been thousands and thousands of years. Let me just clarify that too. You can't fight the devil without God. Hallelujah. We have to have the spirit of God. There is no way I can win any battle without the Lord thy God leading me, guiding me, speaking to me, showing me where to go, showing me what to do, showing me what not to do, girding me, holding me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you got some rebels. They call rebels. What are rebels? They want to do what they want to do. And then when, it, when they bump their head, and I promise you they will, then they want to come back looking crazy. I'm telling you. Be Taking your time. 
Take your time. Don't be in a rush. I'm telling you. It took me 18 years, in case you don't know. And some people think, oh, I'm glad. Thank you, Lord. I'm glad you said that. Some people think I just popped up on Facebook. Honey, let me tell you something. I did 13 years in Manny, Louisiana of an, under Reverend Clovis Rogers. Then I went to Sacramento, Calvary Christian Center with Pastor Godot. I, I think it was eight, nine years. Then I went to Bishop McClinton's church, what, for two years under people, watching them, watching how they work, watching how they pray to God, watching how they minister, sitting myself down. And I knew I could preach at 27, truth be told. Come on, somebody. I've always been on fire for God, but I didn't understand how to do it. And, and I kept trying to go before my time. And to be honest with you, I would fall on my face until finally I had that talk with God. I said, God, he said, it's you. He said, it ain't them. It's you. He said, because you're trying to rush this thing. And she said, Deanna, it cannot be rushed. It took me 18 years. And I didn't understand it, but I understand it now. God was guarding me. God was teaching me that, wait a minute, when you step out, woman of God, I want you to be able to stand. Come on, somebody. I don't want you to fall. Why do you think most people are falling? They had no substance in the beginning. You have to have substance. You have to be grounded in God. This ain't no fly-by-night teaching. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I'm sorry that these preachers on TV make it look so easy and good, but it's not because warfare will meet you at the door. Soon as you really start preaching for God, soon as you really start living for God, soon as you have a real anointing, the devil is at your door and he got a crew. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. But anyway, um. So basically, that's what I was saying. You have to go back, go back and let God, let God remind you of what you do and what you got to do. So God bless you. And I got to get off of here because I see my students in the background got me on live. So now y'all might hear double trouble. I, I, I don't know, <laughs> but praise the Lord. Okay. I love you guys. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers.